What's going on guys? My name's Corey Kamori and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing Burning For You by Blue Oyster Cult. Released in 1981 off of the Fire of Unknown Origin album, Burning For You, like Don't Fear The Reaper, is a song that splits audiences down the middle as to what its meaning truly is about. Some folks think that this song is strictly about sacrificing your soul to the devil in order to gain the things that you want to gain in life, while others take kind of a more middle-of-the-road approach. And, spoiler alert, that's the approach that I'm going to take here with this particular song. I think at the end of the day, this song is about artists giving it their all to provide art and memorable live experiences to the masses. If you haven't seen it yet, I did do a video on Don't Fear the Reaper about a year ago, I want to say, and you guys were awesome in the comment section. You guys provided a lot of great insight. You provided a lot of commentary, and I really, really appreciate that you took the time out of your days to go in there and comment and share your thoughts on what the song is about. Some folks were like, ah, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. This song is strictly about suicide. But then other people really wanted to be open to the discussion that we were having, open to the ideas that I was presenting. And I hope that this video is going to do uh, similar things uh, for folks that are looking for the meaning of this song in particular. So without further ado, let's move on through the song. We begin the song with the words, Home in the valley. Home in the city. Home isn't pretty. Ain't no home for me. Home in the darkness, home on the highway, home isn't my way, home will never be. Burn out the day, burn out the night, I can't see no reason to put up a fight. I'm living for giving the devil his due, and I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Now, when I read those lyrics, when I listen to the song itself, what I interpret is this song, like uh, Iron Maiden's Wasted Years, is about these musicians, these artists, delivering their music to their audience and what that entails, what the road life really is about. As I stated in my video on Wasted Years, uh, a lot of people think that when you're on the road and you're bringing your music from city to city, that it's all just partying it up it's about you know having as much fun as possible and and don't get me wrong you do have fun on the road but really it becomes this tedious sometimes monotonous experience where every day is you riding in a bus you show up you start setting up your stuff on stage you do a sound check you go and grab some dinner and then you jump on the stage and then rinse and repeat I know this only because I work at a music venue and I've worked with a lot of bands that, really are going through that same routine day in and day out. And it's an experience that at the end of the day, if you're not careful, will break you down and it will burn you out. Burning for you, from my perspective, means these artists are going around from city to city and they're doing everything they can to provide a memorable, enriching live experience for their audience. And the song itself is talking about the process of traveling from city to city. It talks about, you know, home in the valley, home in the city, home isn't pretty, ain't no home for me. This is describing the life of a traveling musician, someone who doesn't really have a home or has a home, but they don't want to go back to that home. They want to stay on the road. They want to experience uh, all these different atmospheres and all these different uh, lifestyles and the people. And you know, that is their home, traveling and experiencing the sights, sounds, and landmarks and the people that are going to be along on the journey. What also really hammers in this point for me is, you know, home in the darkness, home on the highway. That line right there says, you know, again, really the only place that is truly home that we are always going to go back to is the highway. You know, a lot of these guys, they're driving around at night. They're riding around, you know, in their bus. If they're a bigger band, they have a driver that is driving them overnight from city to city. And their home is the highway that takes them to uh, point A to point B and the darkness that encompasses that. You know, and sometimes musicians get again depressed, bored out of their freaking minds on the road. And, you know, they sometimes get sucked into that negativity. So that can also be tied into this section of the song as well. You know, 
their home is the darkness, sometimes uh, with heavier music, be it rock or metal. Uh, really expressing all those negative emotions and bringing it out artistically is home as well. And it's about sharing that process of therapy, musical therapy with their audience that helps them kind of work their way through those difficulties and in turn helps their audience work through those difficulties. Now we get to the part that people go, oh, this is clearly a song about selling your soul to the devil in order to get whatever earthly pleasures you want. There's that line, I'm living for giving the devil his due. And yes, if you want to take it from a pedestrian perspective, sure, you could look at it like that. However, I'm going to look at it more from the perspective of, you know, what rock and roll was considered back when Blue Oyster Cult released this song. You know, rock and roll was the music of the devil. It was music that was antagonistic by nature. It was music that was really pushing buttons, pushing boundaries, and hopefully in the process expanding their audience's perspective. And I think with a band like Blue Oyster Cult being that they had a psychedelic vibe to them, that was definitely the case. You know, they're living for giving the devil his due. They're like, you know what? Yeah, we're living to give rock and roll the devil's music to the masses. So that's what I think this section of the song is really touching upon. And again, that chorus just brings everything home with, I'm burning, I'm burning from you. I'm out here, I'm burning the candle at both ends, and I'm doing whatever I can to provide this awesome experience for you. Now, moving through the song, we then hear the words, Time is the essence. Time is the season. Time ain't no reason. Got no time to slow. Time everlasting. Time to play B-sides. Time ain't on my side. Time I'll never know. Burn out the day. Burn out the night. I'm not the one to tell you what's wrong or what's right. I've seen suns that were freezing and lives that were through. Well, I'm burning. I'm burning for you. This section of the song really resonates uh, with me because... It's an experience that I have on a daily basis. You know, whether it's um, creating music, creating art, creating content for you guys, you know, I feel like I'm really fighting the clock. I'm always running out of time and I've got to utilize my time uh, as well as I possibly can because at the end of the day, I'm not going to be around forever. And I want to be sure that for the amount of time that I'm here, I'm putting out as much enriching content as I possibly can. You know, stuff that gives back to the people that uh, experience it and stuff that gives back to myself and my family as well. This section really encapsulates what it feels like to be an artist because you always feel like you're running out of time and you always wanna make sure you're using your time wisely because you wanna experience life to its fullest. You wanna have that time to create more art, but you also wanna have that time to experience new sceneries and new places, talk to new people, learn new things. And time is always running out, so we always have to be conscious of what we're doing with our time to make sure that we are getting as much out of life as we possibly can and giving back in return. Buck Dharma really seems to be talking about in this section in particular how we really have to do our best to get as much out of life as possible. You know, sometimes slow down, flip over the record, listen to songs that you may not have listened to in the past and that you might get new experiences out of, you know, but time is not on your side. So you got to make sure that you're being strategic with how you utilize your time. And I think that's a message that even nowadays is just as relevant as when it came, as when the song came out, if not more, especially since there's so many things going on in today's society that is always trying to grab your attention and try to take your time away. You know, you really don't have all the time in the world and you really have to be smart with what you're gonna do with your time. But what do you guys think? Did I leave anything out with this interpretation? Do you guys have any other ideas or thoughts as to what this song may be about? Please comment below, let me know. As always, I've been Corey Kamori. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see my vocal cover of Burning For You, I'm going to provide it in this description below. Please go ahead and click that link and check out my song and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks again.